What's up everyone, Jason McConnell back again and today we are going to talk about how to develop better characters for your stories. In the last video about storytelling, we spoke about how stories are made up of three main elements, characters, conflict, and resolution. So today, I want to focus on the characters aspect and, and, and let you guys know how you can develop or create better characters for your stories. So the first thing we'll do is identify the types of characters that you will find in your stories. So there are many, many types of characters, but we'll just go through the main ones. The first one or the most popular one is the protagonist. And your protagonist in your story is the main character this is the person that we follow throughout the entire story and we are rooting for and we want them to achieve their goal at the end of the day your protagonist is usually a hero sometimes they are a villain uh, like we saw in joker and he is a bad person but still we we wanted him to achieve what he desired at the end of the story so your protagonist doesn't always have to be uh, good the next main role is the antagonist and the antagonist is the person who counters the protagonist in terms of they want them to fail it's usually a villain it's usually a person that is opposite to the protagonist and any other typical batman movie uh, batman would be the protagonist and joker would be the antagonist like we saw in the dark knight so as we can see it's all about who we focus on and who we are um, rooting for in this story the next main character is the mentor a mentor is someone that uh, guides the protagonist to help them overcome their hurdles in the story so they are the person, the supporting character to the protagonist that helps the protagonist really um, conquer their demons, helps them train so that they, so that the protagonist is able to, to win or achieve their goals. In a movie like Karate Kid, the mentor was his trainer who was teaching him um, how to fight how about life lessons so that he will be able to to win the fight at the end of the movie the next main character is the love interest the love interest is usually that person who the protagonist will fall in love with or is interested in um, they are the main muse of the protagonist sometimes the conflict is them being together like we saw in romeo and juliet Romeo and Juliet being together was the um, was the goal for the story. Uh, however, being in opposing families, it would be difficult for them to to be openly um, in a relationship. So we see how conflict works with a love interest. Then we have secondary characters who are the supporting characters to the protagonist. They are the friends, the sidekicks, the persons who support the, the protagonists or the main characters in what they are trying to do, overcome their um, challenges. So those are the main characters that you will find in a story. So how do we develop these characters to make them better? Of course, characters are people. They, are, they have if there aren't people, they have person-like characteristics. So we need to flesh them out and make them as relatable and enjoyable to watch as possible. One of the main ways to make your character interesting is to give them a specific goal. All of your characters, no matter how small they are, if they have one specific goal, that makes them just a little bit more interest, interesting for the entire movie so no matter how small no matter how big the goal is just something for them to do or go towards is an interesting uh, element or fact that adds some dimension to their character 
All right, number two, give them a personality surrounding somebody else that you know. So it sometimes can be difficult to create an entirely new personality for a character because of their, I mean, it is a fictitious, sometimes fictitious character that you are creating. So the best thing that you can do is draw uh, inspiration from people who you know so you can fully develop and flesh out the character in a way that helps them to feel more realistic. Give them a specific quirk or personality trait that is that makes them stand out. So many characters or many people have certain traits that they do that help them stand out and that just helps them feel a little more real. They might have a limp, they might stutter when they speak, they might twitch their eye, whatever it is, that flaw or that imperfection helps us to make them, helps them to feel more like a real person rather than a fictitious um, character. A good idea as well is to create characters with opposing personalities. So if your main character is quiet and reserved, a good idea is to make the love interest or secondary characters more loud and boisterous. So that would make them opposing and it will create an interesting dynamic between the both of them, which will add more interest and more conflict in your story as well. And last but not least, definitely give them their own personal story. Try your best to flesh out as much information as you possibly can about your character so you are able to make them feel like a real person. Where were they, where were they born? Where did they go to school? What foods do they like? What color do they like? What do they do in their spare time? What do, what do they... What do, <laughs> What do they do for fun? What TV shows do they look at? Uh, everything. It's a really deep dive into each specific character which makes this story so great. So these are some of the tips that you could use to develop and make better characters. Of course there are more so I just gave you what I think are some of the best ways that you can develop your characters. If you are attempting to become a writer as well and you found value in this video, hit like, hit subscribe, I come out with videos. I release videos every single week on a Tuesday. So just stay tuned and I will see you guys next week.